Hi everyone and welcome to the video. Um, I broke uh, the antenna on my Tyrannus here the other day. So um, I want to fix it. So let's take a look and see how I can fix it. Okay, so um, I have my Tyrannus and I have the parts that I need. My goal here is to fix uh, my broken antenna on my Tyrannus and uh, we'll be able to replace it with these higher gain antennas like, uh, like these, these ones. And also the main reason basically is to, during transport, I can just uh, take off the antenna. So I will not risk the antenna to to break uh, again. So what I did, I uh, bought this extension um, this extension cable. It's a very, very small uh, connection on this side. And it's a BNC, uh, no, it's an uh, SMA, uh, uh, external XMA connector on the other end. So let's just uh, take it out and uh, I will, link uh, to um, the place that I bought them. So basically this is it. And um, to be able to fit this uh, extension cable, you need one of these connectors and you have to solder on one of these. And these are very, very tiny, so I'm not even sure if I will be able to. But, um, so basically, you uh, solder on the connector and you just push this one in and you have to put some hot glue or something so, so it doesn't just pop off again. So we will put them aside. And... Um, Basically what I have, I've already taken out all the screws and of course remove the battery. So what I will do is just disconnect all the cables. I know where everything goes. And the last one there. Is this one? And then we can just put this aside. <clears throat> so what I need to do is then to just remove this uh, this wire. I will have to Get rid of this blob. I will do that off camera and see if I will be able to clean that up. So the first thing that I will do is to uh, remove the, the, the glue and uh, remove the antenna and uh, clean everything up and uh, take it from there. Okay, I have uh, cleaned it up. The tip uh, there to remove the, uh, the glue was to use acetone, uh, just uh, a drop of acetone and it was uh, easy to remove. So uh, let me see if the camera can focus on it, yes. So these three uh, spots there is where I need to, to solder on the connector. And uh, it's very, very tiny. So, so this is it, and if I turn it around, you can see the, um, the center, the center uh, lead, so to speak. So I will have to solder that on with the <clears throat> with the center um, uh, lead to the uh, to the very small one in the middle there. 
Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna try to solder on uh, while filming it. I'm um, I can keep the camera on, but I don't know if uh, maybe I do the jump cut uh, during editing. So let me see if I can just position the camera so I will be able to to do it while I so. That's pretty much the closest that I can get. So that's it. So let me just um, put some uh, solder on it. Okay, I'm done <clears throat> soldering. Uh, it was a, a little bit of a challenge, but uh, you basically just have to, to really focus on what you're doing because it's so tiny. And uh, my camera, yeah, there you go. I've also, I have also um, used my multimeter to verify that the connection from that pin on the chip over there is connected and that there are no shorts so the ground on each side actually is connected to the ground on the on the pin it's a common ground obviously so um, everything should be uh, fine I will not now just uh, connect the um, the pigtail and I will also of course just let me just zoom out a bit Something like that. <clears throat> so I will remove remove this and, and see in which way I will be able to attach this. And then the uh, this uh, connector is uh, going there, and I will glue it in. So let me do that, and um, let's see how it looks when I'm done. Okay, I have um, um, attached the uh, the pigtail. Uh, I decided to make a new uh, hole for it, uh, to just drill a hole in the chassis because um, this original hole is actually, it's actually quite big. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, guys on YouTube, they have just hot glue it, but I didn't think that looked nice at all, so I decided to uh, to drill a new hole for it and um, I will have to find something to, to plug it so I don't get a lot of dust and stuff into the radio so I'll still need to find a way to, 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 to plug the hole. I will do that later. Anyway now uh, the only thing I need to do is to uh, to hook up the pigtail just uh, measure just measure it um, to see that it, it is uh, have connection and uh, hot glue uh, the uh, the uh, in two places one to keep it in place and another one for uh, strain relief so um, I will try to do that now so um, it is a bit long that doesn't matter really so I will just um, There you go, <clears throat> and then I will just measure to see that we have ground. Yes, we do. And if I measure through the sensor pin and ground, there is nothing. And if I do center pin and the chip. Yep. 
Yeah, so it seems to be working okay. I hope it's sufficient so I don't burn out the, the module. And then I will just take my hot glue gun. Basically just like that. And basically just like that. So it looks like this. So I can just hook everything up and uh, and test it, and, and I also think I will have to do a range a range test. So I will be back with the result of the uh, of the um, of the range test when I have done so. I will not be able to do that to do that right now. However, I will just uh, test it to see uh, close up that uh, it, it, actually, it actually is working. So uh, just give me a few minutes and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm um, out testing. I'm gonna do a, a quick, um, I'm gonna do, try to do a quick uh, range test on my Tyrannis. So I'm going to use this field. Can I zoom all the way out? Use this field and uh, just try to see. I don't know how much we will be able to, to see on the video, but we can try. Yeah, on the video we aren't, aren't able to see anything and uh, visually it's very hard to see. So, but it seems to be working fine. I, uh, I will take on the goggles and try to fly around so we can have a little more distance. I will try that. Uh, um, um, there's no point in filming that. I won't be able to track the the, uh, the quad anyway. So I will be back when I've tried it. Okay, <coughs> uh, I've been out uh, doing some testing. It was a limited test, so I, of course I will have to do uh, some more testing. But <coughs> I did first try with this antenna, and if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, I think it's a 5 dBi antenna. However, <coughs> uh, what I could see through the RSSI was that this is also a 5 dBi antenna, but it seems like this uh, this was actually a better antenna to use, a uh, more solid signal. Um, but then again, uh, this is uh, just a, a small test. I will, uh, I will of course have to, to do some more testing with this. But anyway, uh, the, um, the antenna uh, replacement uh, seems to be a success um, and I'm quite happy with it. I will just find something to, <coughs> to, to, to plug the hole so I don't get a, a heap, heap of uh, dust and stuff inside the radio. But I think this concludes the video and um, uh, it's going to be exciting to see how it works uh, uh, from now on. Uh, of course, I will have to remember to to uh, to mount the antenna before I turn the radio on, but I will hope I hope that I will manage to do so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.